Hi! Good day everyone! I am Shireen Joel L. Labita, a senior high school student from Asuncion National High School. I am here today to share and explore with you the importance and use of graphing calculators for solving and graphing mathematical problems. We are open to the fact that the world is now advanced in growing array of technological innovations such as gadgets, computers, cell phones, and even calculators. Yes, a graphing calculator. A trailblazing use of graphing calculators help the students to make connections among different representations of mathematical models. And now, let's have a look at this problem. A girl wanted to give flower for her mother's birthday. Applying her knowledge and skill in graphing calculator, she wanted to compute so she can have a draft to make crafts for her mother's birthday. These three polar equations are represented by R equals 6 sine 3 theta. R equals 6 sine 3 theta plus 180 and R equals 1.5 and give it to her loving mother who will be very happy receiving it. And now, our task is to see what is formed in the graph of the three given equations. The problem involves a polar equation. For a recall, remember that the polar equation is any equation that describes a relation between R, R, R and theta over theta. To solve the given problem, we are going to use a graphing calculator. To start with, we need to set our calculator. Let's press the power on button. Then press clear to surely clear the previous calculations and data. Note that a polar equation we need to use R. Since our calculator are set for function problems, we need to set it for polar equation. Let's press the mode button on the third row, set degree from radian, then press enter. On the fourth row, set pol for polar, then enter. And now, we are set for our polar equations. After that, we need to set our format. Press the second button, then format. On the first row, press the polar GC on, then enter. Press the set label on and then enter. One of the most challenging parts in using graphing calculators is setting the window to get the best view of the equation. If we don't set the window correctly, there will be an error and we can't graph if errors occur. Set the window, press the window button to adjust the window of the graph and later after, let's input the needed data. Now we have our window data. For theta min, let's use 0. For theta max, we have 360. For theta step, we have 7.5. And for the x min, we have negative 10. For the x max, we have 10. For mean, we have negative 10. For the y max, we have 10. And then, we are all set. Now, let's graph the given polar equations. We go to the Y button. Since it is programmed for polar equation, we have the R. Input R equals 1.5. After that, let's press the graph button. We can see that the equation form a small circle lying in the center. And then, we go back to the y equals button to proceed to the next equation. The next polar equation is r equals 6 sine of 3 theta. After that, let's press the graph button. Wow! It is visible that we have one tripetal rose is formed. It is quite amazing. So, let's go on to the last polar equation. For the last equation, we have r equals 6 sine of 3 theta plus 180. Let's press the graph button. And here, we have now our output. To enjoy the features of this calculator, we can go back to the format and set the grid on to check on where did the equations lie. Let's go back to what is S. What is formed in the graph of the three polar equations? We have a circle and two pieces of three petal rows. That is how we graph and solve problems using graphing calculators. That would be all. Thank you for watching.